What's going on guys and welcome back. It's been a while. Say hi Lauren and Jackson. Hi Lauren and Jackson. <laughs> Jackson, what are you doing buddy? You sitting by Lauren. What are you doing over there? Reading. For Reading. School. Okay. Jackson. We're just sliding around trying to be by you. But no. Aww. No traction Jackson. Yay boy. So a quick update for you guys before we get into the video. I finally made a decision on what I want to put on the garage floor. As you guys know, the floor is not finished. It's a little dark here. Let me turn on the light. Uh, it's just a concrete floor, a bunch of dings in it that I need to patch up. But I figured out what I want to do. I decided to go with the coating on the garage floor. Uh, we're going to make it black. Uh, it's from a company called You Code It. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them. Heard some good reviews about this stuff. A lot of shops have it in their garage, and it's a very tough uh, floor. I wanted something strong to put in the garage, and I also want to just be able to do it myself. And I heard this is a good kit, a good do it yourself kit. And it's fairly inexpensive, so I like that about it as well. Uh, this is the stuff I've been waiting for this uh, patch here. Uh, there's two parts to it, I guess. That's going to basically patch up all the holes and the cracks I have on the floor right now. And then, um, I guess it comes with some pretty cool stuff. It's an entire kit. It comes with rollers and everything and all that stuff, which is pretty awesome. They send you all this stuff. Look at that, it even comes with safety glasses down there. More five gallon buckets and you can't really get enough of these, that's for sure. So there's a lot of stuff that comes with this. I'll have to read about all of it because I'm not an expert on coating floors. Of course, it comes with directions, obviously. So you know what you're doing. So it's a water-based epoxy floor coating. There's the uh, gloss um, polyurethane top coat, which makes gives it that shine, as you can see on that floor right there. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to start this because uh, I definitely want to get the garage done so we can get uh, both cars back in the garage. One is still at CSP. Speaking of CSP, we're going to be going there in this video. Uh, the converter came in for the 10-speed auto. It's the first one. It's the only one you can get. Sorry, it's getting dark in here. Got to turn on some lights. Oh, that's way too bright. Anyways, it's the only one you can get uh, for the 10 speed auto at this point in time. So that's going to be done in this video. And uh, I wanted to also update you guys before we get into that. The uh, office slash hobby room slash editing station. A friend of mine came over the other day. It's, he's an electrician and wired in some lighting in the room. And I'll show you guys here in a second. But what we did is I wanted a track light there to light the wall up. I wanted to light up the gun closet, and then I wanted both outlets switchable for these lamps. So I'm gonna put a three gang wall plate on here to match these switches here. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet, so it's on the way right now. But the first switch here is going to be both lamps, which uh, it's the outlet, so it's the top portion of that outlet is now switchable so we can turn the lamps on. The second one is the gun closet. And then the third one here with the dimmable uh, switch is the track lighting there for the guitars. So, as you guys can see, it pulls the lighting in really, really nice. This is exactly what I wanted to light up that guitar wall. And obviously these lamps are going to be higher once they get on some furniture. And then the gun closet obviously looks way nicer lit up like that. My dad and I put these shelves in. He does woodworking, so he's able to make stuff like that. Uh, and I wanted, like I said, a place to put all the ammo and stuff. So, that is great. That's all organized. So, it's coming together pretty quickly. Next step is going to be the flooring. I decided I'm going to rip up the carpet. I'm not going to restretch it like I was saying in the other video. Um, it is pretty new carpet. But what we're going to do is, this is what I'm going to put in there. It's this gray uh laminate wood flooring which um it's in my price range it's on sale which is good i'm working with a budget right now so i didn't want to get like any hardwood or even like the best laminate there is so i decided to go with this plus this matches the best i thought it kind of has like different color planks which is pretty cool different grays and it uh it pulls the room in pretty nicely as you can see we have a darker gray accent wall with a lighter gray main wall yeah it's gonna look good once it's in here that should be in tuesday so hopefully i'll be able to start that this week i don't know because i'm working 12 hour shifts this week so that's gonna be hard 10 a.m to 10 p.m but once we get it in on tuesday i'm gonna probably lay it down as quickly as i can because i want to get everything back in here so i'll be able to play more guitar i'll be able to edit my videos all that good stuff up here all right so we're gonna pull down the jackson randy rose v i think it's called the rrxt model i played this guitar when i was in the band it was a uh full step down guitar so this is more of a heavy song guitar now both of these riffs from each of these songs are from the band called ghost you guys may be fans of that band if you are comment below and guess which riff i'm playing
That was an intro to a ghost song. Put your guesses below in the comments. And this is the outro to a different ghost song. This one's a little more heavy. And there you go. There's two riffs of the day for you guys. I've been listening to the Ghost a lot recently, so I figured I'd learn a couple riffs and play them for you guys. So we'll put the guitar back. I will restring that later. As you can see, it's missing a high E string because I broke it. And I use this Line 6 uh, Spider 4. It's a 212, um, just regular amp. It's not a tube amp or anything like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it has a ton of different presets. I don't know. You guys are probably familiar with Line 6 if you play guitar. This is one of the older ones. Uh, they have newer ones out now, but uh, it works great for practice stuff and I really like it. Maybe one of these days I'll set my entire live rig up uh, down in the basement for you guys and I'll rip a little bit for you. But anyways, here's the footage for you guys of the new converter. Chick-fil-A. Uh, Sorry, what was that? You're not special enough. Hey, look at this. Wasn't Andrew's car here last time I was here? Yeah. Oh, What's up? What is that? Those are the spark plug threads. Trying to figure out why this plug goes in. Ooh, nice. It came out sideways and then it wouldn't go back in. Dude, it's nice and warm in here. I didn't expect this. Yeah, for now, until the doors open. <laughs> I was going to say, everyone's waving in the distance. Lol. Did you guys enjoy the, uh, the Christmas card that I edited on my story? Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a convertible, convertible ZL1? Convertible ZL1. What would you start now with basic mods? Well, basic being heads cam. You don't really see too much, you know, convertibles or too many convertibles no. doing that kind of stuff. No. This one has a lower speed limiter too. It hit a speed limiter on the dyno for the base pulls. It's 155, isn't it? Yeah, I had to put it down in 60 I know. instead. That's so weird. There's got to be a, a law or something out there that says that convertibles are limited to 155 because yeah. they're all like that. I'm pretty sure. Remember we had that fifth gen? Same, 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 same thing. 155. I wonder if it's because of it, if it would roll. roll. Yeah. Like it's not. You're not allowed to go faster than that. You have to get like a roll bar or something. Of course, then again, put a roll cage and that's gonna be easy. Are you putting one in your car? I'm getting there. <laughs> I've spent enough money already. Might not run fast enough to get a required cage. <laughs> we'll see about that, one. that blue stuff you put on looks like that thing was in a wreck. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a cool blue. Believe it or not, I was actually debating between this color and, and red. I really like I really like this color. I don't think that has red seatbelts on it. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you I don't remember the red seatbelt. I don't think there's you can get them with that. Though. Yeah. Nice made a blue seat belt. What they should do is color match the stitching and seatbelts to the car color. That would be sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. But GM doesn't do any sort of customization like that like ever. That's a supercar thing. Here we go. Moment of truth. ATI torque converter. One of the first converters for the new 10 speed. Look at that thing. As you guys know, we sent away the uh, converter out of the 10 speed, wherever the heck the transmission is, I don't know right now. So they basically strengthened it and uh, loosened it up. It's, they said it's as loose as it can get. We'll Usually see what that not means. How we want things, but well, in this case, in this case, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll enable me to build a lot more boost off the line when I'm racing, and I should be able to launch the car a lot harder. It'll still put down the same power, but. Uh, this is just gonna help me basically in drag racing. And if it's stronger, that's good too. ATI has also said they haven't broken anything on their 10 speed yet. And they've had about a thousand horsepower, 900 torque, something like that through it. So nice. they said, together. they said, if you break anything, if we break anything, let them know. Cause they're not gonna make anything for it until something so breaks, breaks yeah. right? So maybe they'll want the trans. Yeah, who yeah. knows? Yeah, so ATI, you know, big shout out to them as well. We're gonna be the test subjects here to see how it is. They have one in their car. Obviously this isn't the first time they've done it. They do have a ZL1, the shop ZL1 that they did this on. And um, they were able to race it at Maple Grove the one day and um, it worked out for them. Now theirs is a blower car, mine's a turbo car obviously, so uh, we'll see the difference here. See if it does what it's supposed to do. So Same there's the transmission. Pop. First step in putting the converter back in is... Lube it up. Lube it up. Takes that fancy trans fluid. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you guys had to get that weird, that, that new stuff. Look at that. High performance, man. High specific for the 10 speed. So 25 years later, Eric is finally uh, done filling up the converter with fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it should be just about right. What's the uh, dealio with the old bracket? They still have to send us the bracket. Did you got the pictures? 
Are you in that group chat? No, uh, is it completed, finished? I just got the, the renderings, the like bracket. the CAD renderings. The bracket is made and they mocked it up on an engine already. Okay, oh, okay, So I assume okay, we're gonna yeah. see that soon. I don't have any tracking on it, but. And then we so, have to send the pump out because they have to clock something internally since we're putting it opposite than initial. Well, hopefully when the bracket gets here, it should fit. It's gonna be tight, but yeah. if it fits, it ships. Vacuum this piece of artwork right here. Yeah. A lot of vacuum teeth. It looks like it's just gonna go in a, cir a circle. Yeah, if you put it in a loop, then you never lose any boost. <laughs> oh yeah, so well, you're gonna have to do redo that because yep. I guess the catch can ain't going there anymore, so nope. it's gonna go. We need to order the shorty one, actually. Does it go here? Is that what you want to do, right there? I'm gonna try the shorty here, but doesn't matter here, it'll probably go back there. Oh, okay, well what about the coolant then? I haven't figured it out yet. It's not that much, right? It doesn't even need to be that large. Do coolant back there and catch can up here? No. Yeah, probably. Or vice versa. Hey, look at that. Um, let's get a strap on this so we don't die. Just getting a little bit of lubricant on here. And the lube. Lube, lube, lube. Got this from uh, the Birds and Bees store. The what? <laughs> birds and Bees. You know, oh, the Birds and... Oh, I thought you... I thought you said the Burt's Bees store. Burt's Bees. <laughs> All natural lube. Brought it from home. Used it once already. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Probably going to spill a little bit, but it's okay. This is awkward because it's got like a... I think that's it, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to check that. I can eyeball pretty much the 60 and 80 or the newer ones, but I'm not used to the converter spacing on these yet, so it might need to go in a little more. Gotcha. Phones everywhere. Ooh. Get a real camera. This is a real camera. Get a real device. Way better than that iPhone of yours. <laughs> I'm not using an iPhone. I'm using my camera. That's right. Okay, your camera's better than this camera. Oh, there it goes. There was one last click. That looks more reasonable. You guys missed it. I heard it. I'm glad Andrew missed it. I'm glad he didn't get it on video. Technically, he did because I'm... I did. Nah, like, what do you got? Dual? Ah, you, you, we're double teaming. Oh, you got two camera angles now? <laughs> Jesus. You're getting get an Eiffel Tower. Oh right my now. God. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's covered by plastic panels on this car. Oh, I know. Too much plastic stuff everywhere. This is a good view. If I want to keep my camera right here, this is like a Chris Fix uh, view. I got a head mount, finally. You just start doing it. I should, but. Eric, fi like, Eric I'm Fix. I'm wear all day. <laughs> Eric Build. That's what you can do. That's your, your channel name can be. Dude, dude. Little by little. The Huge. amount of room between the tunnel. Let me see if this will go all the way up. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit a max here, not to lower the lift back down. Oh, you had some room there. Oh yeah, that is a tight one, isn't it? That's in. Hey hey, look at that. I was doing this too easy. Yeah, seriously. It's nice when something fits in his stock. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. This has got to go above that. Oh. That's fine. I might just leave it on and unbolt this. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd rather not take that out. Oh, that gets tucked up on the side there. Yeah, it goes Oh, back here. yeah. Wow, yeah, that snugs up right in there, don't it? It's a bit of a tight fit. I'll bolt it up now so it doesn't go anywhere, especially over the weekend. You has converter. I does have. You has. I has? You has. Yins. Yins? Dude, I never understand that one. If you're from Pittsburgh, don't be offended. Yins? What are Yins doing today? <clears throat> My friends from Pittsburgh, and even they're like, uh, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> like, did someone sneeze while they were trying to say all oh, like, Yins? <laughs> <laughs> I ordered welds for this car. Um, did you? Yeah, the ones I had on it before. Yeah. I ordered a set. Yeah, I ordered a set. Um, well, over a month ago, maybe. Yeah. A, you so. Car yeah, so they should be hopefully in, you know. Soon. Coming soon. Yeah. Trans is bolted up. Converters in. You can see a little bit of it up there. Right there. Right there it is. Is this your cop car? Uh, I wish it was. <laughs> Seems badass. I know. Look at that. So. Got all the radios in it. Does it really? Oh my god. Oh wow. Holy crap. Even got the wheels and tires. This one's tires actually really nice. Like they're like they're not beat up or anything. Yeah. No. It, it does look. Pretty nice. It's only like four years old. What's he doing to it? Uh, cam, DOD delete, uh, intake and headers. L77? Or L77. Yeah. It's got like a lot of mileage, but a lot of idle time, so. It's kind of cool though, because think about how many times this car's ruined someone's day. <laughs> it starts pissing me off, so it starts ruining my day too. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, back at home now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to get that car back on the streets, uh, especially with the new stall converter, get it back on the track and see what we can run. Now, like I said, we are still waiting for the bracket for the additional high side fuel pump. So once that comes in, hopefully it will fit.
cross my fingers, we can get it on the dyno, get it tuned. I'm sure it's gonna make a little more power, which is gonna be awesome on just 93. Get it back on the road, do some more videos for you guys, maybe go down south to a track, somewhere that's open, quarter mile, that I can take the car to in literally January and see what we can do with the new setup. As you can see outside right now, it's snowed last night uh, into today. No drag strip around this area is going to be open, unfortunately. So that's the weather we're dealing with right here in PA, but that's normal, obviously, for winter time. But if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're coming here for the first time, and have a great day.